Frank here from Tightlines Fly Fishing in Parsippany, New Jersey. On my way to work this morning, I stopped in the south branch of the Rare and did a quick stream scene. Just kind of wanted to show you guys what bugs are out this time of year, specifically size and uh, some patterns to use to imitate them. I found the most of uh, Hendrickson nymphs, and those are these guys here. Pretty easy to spot. If you see in the third and fourth segment, they have that light band, dead giveaway of them. Moving on to this one here, that's a sulfur nymph. Pretty close to that. They're the same species. Um, they just don't have that light band in there, and they're much more uniform throughout in the coloration. Patterns I would use to imitate those, I would just do a, a pheasant tail. And for the Hendrickson, I would use a like a dark brown for the body and put a little bit of ginger dubbing on the on the, the back of the body, just a little ball of it to kind of imitate that light spot. And then the sulfur, I would just use uh, yellow pheasant tail to kind of imitate like the uniformness throughout. Moving on, I found a bunch of golden stoneflies. They kind of vary in size. That's about a size 8 or so. That's more of a size 10 moving over here. That's probably the most common that I fish. I think it's just a good all-around in-between. They take about three years to molt, so, you know, they're in the rivers at all times and in different sizes. You know, rubber-like stones probably my go-to, but I'll fish, like, more kind of realistic patterns as well. Then we got a Hydropsyche caddis here, also known as a green sedge. Um, you know, Daiichi makes a nice hook for that one. The 1870 or even the 1230, it's kind of like a curved swimming hook. Same thing with this Hydra Psyche here. This one, much like that one, except for it has a little bit more darker, kind of a darker olive uh, body to it. Uh, moving on from there, we have this Helgramite here. Big guy, any guy smallmouth fish, you definitely know what that is. You know, it hatches to a Dobson fly. It's got these big pinchers on the front. That thing's been kind of attacking all the other nymphs in the in the in the plate here. Then moving on from there, we have a Shamara caddis, this bright orange one. This is actually a pretty good size one. It's definitely a size 16. As you know, they hatch in early spring and they're jet black. So you can see the transformation from that bright orange to that jet black. There was a ton of midges in here too. It's kind of hard to get them on film. Um, I didn't see any scuds, although I wasn't in scud water. They're more in like kind of slower water, much of weedier water. Um, and from there... I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, we're in the shop. We can show you some patterns, give you some tips and tricks to tie them. Thank you very much and tight lines.